So good evening. Uh, our lecturers have some small technical problems and they will join us in 10 minutes if it's okay with you. So in the meantime, I would like to welcome you to the lecture, How to Make Photo Book by Professor Olya Triashka Stefanovic and Professor Jure Blaško from the Academy of Fine Arts and Design in Bratislava. And uh, to introduce them to you before we introduce ourselves, all of us to them and introduce the Biennale and program. So this, uh, this lecture and presentation is a part of the second International Students Biennale of Art of Book organized by the um, Student City Cultural Center, uh, Faculty of Applied Arts. Let me introduce them briefly. Uh, so, uh, Olya Triashka Stefanovic is a professor, she is photographer and visual artist with a former Yugoslav background. Currently, she is a head uh, of the Department of Photography and New Media at the Faculty of Fine Arts and Design in Bratislava. And Professor Jure Blaško is graphic designer and head of the Division of Visual Department of Visual Communications. And uh, both of them are, in, in fact, what is the most important for this evening and this lecture, founders of the FOBO uh, teaching platform for book, uh, uh, photo book making. Uh, they are part, their lecture is a part of this year biennial in a new established category photo books for the first time in this edition of the Biennale. And uh, both of them, um, both of them are lecturing in the faculty and their work uh, has been presented and uh, part of permanent collections of prestige national Slovak National Museum and, uh, and galleries. Both of them uh, exhibit nationally and internationally and their works and contributions are published and presented in very prestige uh, magazines, uh, publishing houses and books all around uh, Europe. So this is the place for FOBO, photo books, project and teaching platform. Uh, they are in the outer part of the Argyll Gallery. And here are some examples of presented books in the Argyll Gallery. Twenty-three <laughs> works are presented here in the section of photo book. And we really do enjoy seeing what are the inspiration topics and materials and ways how do you uh, perceive um, photo books. And we would really like to thank you so very much uh, to you, uh, Professor Olya Triashka Stefanovic and Professor Jure Blaško. Uh, as a special guest to this second edition of the Biennale of Students uh, Art of Book uh, in the section, especially in the section of Auto Book, and being our lecture tonight, we really do hope and expect uh, your expertise and your experience, great experience. I, I have to say that I had the opportunity to see the results of, uh, um, of your work uh, in reality, and they are very inspiring, and I hope that also students and your colleagues would be inspired with your presentation. We present it br very briefly your uh, professional careers and work, and you will present us, and we presented ourselves, we will do again for you. So here is um, the artistic director of the Argit Gallery, professor of photography at the Faculty of Dramatic Arts, next to me, Alexander Kostic, my dear colleague, art historian Katarina Kostadinovic, who is visually moderating this lecture. Hello, professor everyone. Of, professor of photography, both to mask, and I will put my mask immediately uh, after I finish. Professor of photography at the Academy of uh, at the Academy of Arts in Novi Sad and in, in Belgrade, 
and we welcome you very much and thank you on behalf of the Student uh, City Culture Center, uh, Faculty of Applied Arts and Culture Center of Belgrade as the organizers of this edition of Biennale. So I give the floor to you and thank you and Professor Blaško for being with us. Hello, dobro večer. Uh, well, uh, we are so sorry for this uh, little delay, but we are here. Uh, we are now in, uh, in Bratislava, in Slovakia, where we also have a lockdown, so we don't have a present, uh, we, so we can't go to our academy. And uh, from that reason, we are so sorry that uh, we couldn't, we were not able to visit you and to, to see the Biennale because we think that the importance of the photo book is really uh, great and uh, we want to make a cooperation and network across our part of the Europe. Uh, what we were also doing with my colleague, Yuri Blasko, he's, he's there. Hi, Yuri. <laughs> um, so we are both settled at the Academy of Fine Arts and Design in Bratislava. Uh, I was born in Novi Sad, but I live in uh, Bratislava for 20 years. It's uh, quite a long uh, time, so I finished my own studies there. And uh, so I will make a little, little introduction how we come... Uh, and how we uh, establish this platform of photo books within our uh, our academy, because I think this uh, this beginning of the process is very important. And I think we just started a new process for you, maybe. Uh, so uh, Yure and me started in 2012 to to work on the a big uh, international project uh, called Chapter. And so we, we invited the academies from Finland and from Germany, very good school from Germany, from Bielefeld. And uh, so 21 students were uh, was taking the part of this uh, two year uh, long project. So every year we had a two weeks uh, long workshop, once in Slovakia and the second time in uh, Germany in the city of Rostock. And what we wanted to do with these 21 of different nationalities of students, we wanted uh, to try to work with them together and to, at the end, to make the one photo book. In 2012, we just uh, were just thinking like how to make uh, with students some uh, photo books, but we needed to get some experiences. So th from that reason, we uh, started to invite different academies uh, and art schools from the Western part of the Europe, where this uh, photo book uh, learning process was already on the completely different uh, layer and, uh, uh, than that we had in our school. And as a process, uh, we, we made uh, this uh, kind of book. It's really a great book. And uh, Yurai was actually a designer, my colleague of, of this book. So here we have uh, uh, several visual stories of different uh, uh, students. And that was our beginning. So we published uh, one book, like uh, it was not a catalog. We always called it a book. And we told the story about one city in, uh, in, in Slovakia, which is Banska Štjanica, a really beautiful, beautiful city. And after that, uh, we realized that we need to make uh, more uh, uh, research in depth. So we uh, wrote the project, research project, and we applied at the Ministry of the Education in Slovakia, and we get that project. And that was our start. So how we actually started. So we uh, had the financial support. We could buy the material, what we needed for our project. Uh, we, need, we, we bought uh, great paper. We bought some machines that we needed. And for three years, we were, uh, we were able to travel and to study the contemporary situation regarding the, the photo books, which is really huge and uh, really open uh, and uh, amazingly creativity is there is happening so we visit different several different uh, festivals and we make our network because the uh, photo book uh, platform is all about the network so we need to establish also network with you and you need to establish through us network to another uh, another cities and to another schools so that's why we uh, uh, we work uh, with the different uh, academies. We also work uh, with the academy uh, 
in uh, Zagreb. We made uh, two workshops, one in Groznyan, and then they came to our school in, in Kremnica. Uh, we had also several like um, online workshops, and all the time we established the, the networks, and we were invited the people who were also teaching us, because Yure and me was also uh, the pioneers in that in our academy. And, uh, but from the beginning, we wanted to make one, um, uh, one course that will be combined course with the photography and graphic design. And now you uh, can continue and I will open um, my, uh, our presentation that you can also see in the culture center of Belgrade. And we are very thankful that we can take the part, even though it's online, but, uh, uh, that you can see the presentation in online uh, our of students books and hopefully uh, we will do something uh, after this corona time and we will bring you to to see it so now i will share my screen and uh, yura uh, will continue why we wanted to uh, make the combined course okay can you hear me Yes, okay, perfect. So for us, uh, it was important to get together students of graphic design and students of uh, photography. Before the, the cooperation between photographers and graphic designers was uh, very normal. But with the come of the new technologies, that uh, at the time when everybody uh, could buy his own computer and uh, Adobe uh, programs or software, uh, graphic designers found out that they can make own photos and photographers find out that they can make their own design. And we wanted to change it. So, because graphic designers are for making graphic design and photographers are for making the photos. And we want to get together students to uh, cooperate, to, uh, to create the pairs and couples, uh, graphic designers and uh, photographers. And we didn't want to make it in a meaning that photographer, photographer will bring the set of photographs, give it to graphic designer and say, okay, these are my photographs, make a book from it. No, we wanted to uh, make a cooperation from the very beginning. So we give the topic to the students and they create the couples, graphic designer and uh, photographer. And from the very early beginning, they have to react together on the topic and to come up with the uh, concept of the book. So also the graphic designer has a, a space to say, okay, I would like to think about this book this way. And the photograph say, okay, I would think about, about it this way. So they are both creators. And on this uh, shared screen, we can see the process of, uh, of working when we have uh, the, the workshops and we, use the wall as a, as a presentation screen when students present their concept, when uh, we speak about the uh, visual dramaturgy, about the order of the photographs, about the selection of the photographs. And uh, this is just the first phase of uh, creating the photo book. So, and here I can uh, join uh, your right because uh, this is the beginning of the process. So we, uh, so uh, when you start to work on the on the photo book and you have, a, uh, for example, the topic, uh, I don't know, Danube, what we had in, in here in this case uh, with the students. So we gave them the topic Danube. Very easy. It's a river. It is also a river connected with Bratislava, actually, and Belgrade. And uh, so we started to research about the different variations of the of the Danube. So they gave us some selection of the photos, but we, uh, we told them like, no, we want to see all your images because you need to speak now with the images. And what is uh, this visual storytelling? You need to uh, switch your mode in, uh, in your 
uh, thinking process and to start to tell a story with the images. So we need to see in the student's uh, heart, head, uh, what is their process, how they started to think that we want to make this, uh, especially this uh, sequence of the Danube. So that's why you can see so many images uh, on the wall. And that's how we started to make the story with them. So like in every book, uh, when a writer is starting to write a story, we have an introduction, we have a body, and then we have a conclusion. So we need to start from somewhere. From somewhere. As, and here you can see the what is the key uh, of the story. So uh, the process is uh, we printing all the time the small images and we put it on the walls. And then uh, here you can see the small uh, like um, uh, yellow and green uh, papers. And uh, uh, with, that, with those papers, we are writing the small like uh, thesis, but not the whole annotations, but just the small uh, short words, like what is the first uh, connection with the, of the image and the text. And we are putting them on the wall. And that's how we are starting to make uh, the story. And it's really interesting because uh, the participation of the whole group is really intense. So. Uh, all the all uh, partic participants of the workshop or, or the course are together and they are also uh, the part of the process of making the book from another colleague. So that was for us really a great, um, uh, great uh, process and, and uh, workshop. And we did that with a, uh, with a writer from Berlin. Uh, and he has a wonderful magazine uh, of the contemporary culture, society, art. It's called the Flanner. So, and Flanner, Flannerism means uh, someone who walks through the city and uh, and uh, uh, observing the, the city. So we were we were for uh, several days. All of us were uh, together like planners. Uh, so we were walking around the city and making the the story. So here you can see uh, exact, uh, some also examples. So we are all the time the printing the images, cutting the images and making. Because we are living in a digital world, world. So everything is on the digital material. We are making the images with the, uh, our mobile phone, which is completely okay. Also with, uh, with so expensive cameras, which is also okay. But the photography, we can't forget that photography is still so physical. So we need to all the time to print photos and to put them on the wall. So that's how we can see uh, our way of, of thinking or student way of thinking and to make this uh, uh, essential part of the of the given uh, story. And uh, so it's just enough and to have some small, small printer and to print. Yeah, you're right. And, and this is the crucial part of our uh, teaching, the, the COVID situation. Since we cannot meet with the students, okay, we are using the digital technologies, but uh, not even the best digital technology can replace the wall. Yeah, and we are facing now really with um, uh, one completely new experience, how to keep going the energy, because uh, we had um, a really good uh, our studio with all materials and uh, we could uh, show examples because how I show you the examples of, of the books. So that's how we are working also with students. We have our small library and now this is the new experience. So how to have this physicality of photography, even though we are in the isolation and uh, we have all, uh, all lectures online. So our consultations are online and they are showing us the PDFs and some small uh, like sketches that they are making. So we will see how how it it, it is already second semester that uh, that we are online. So I hope that we will in January have the physical <laughs> presentation of the book. Also, uh, from the early beginning of the project, we were organizing different. Uh, Fobo is our name. Uh, Fobo is like a photo. Bo, it's like books, <laughs> but it's also Vietnam soup that Yure and me really liked. And we were in the Vietnam restaurant and we uh, were just wondering that this great uh, idea to have the, the name of our course like Fobo, uh, photo books. And uh, what is crucial for our students that we were always telling them, 
So we are in the September, we are, we are preparing uh, books, but uh, at the end of this December, you will have a public presentation. And we are really uh, like uh, this pop-up uh, uh, punk, I don't know, uh, guerrilla um, uh, group of people who are uh, willing to present books in any kind of the on the presentation or, or in the cafe bar or whatever. But it's really important because book is uh, uh, has a life when it has a reader or someone who is take, uh, having the book in the hands. So that's why we were uh, we were I will show you yeah, here. So that's why we were always having the public presentation of the student uh, books. And uh, that is something uh, as a, as advice that I can tell you, because it's not enough to have as a exam presentation, but also, and that's why uh, your Biennale is also so important that they can have the audience of the book. And that's how we also uh, raising the awareness of the importance of the photo books, because in the libraries or big published house or houses, we are not in the Spain or in the France or in England or in the Netherlands where this awareness of the photography books are really high and they are publishing, the, they are special published houses for the photo books. But here in the Eastern Europe, Europe what is the photo book? Photo book is something for the published houses, uh, something between uh, year calendar and the very uh, nice uh, nature uh, landscapes uh, photography combined in a photo book. And we are telling them with our students that it's not that photo book is a story, photo book has a topic, photo book has a great design, wonderful paper, and uh, and uh, developing our, our aesthetic um, approaches. And also, it's a collection thing. Uh, when you take the Martin Parr, very famous um, uh, English Britain photographer, he's uh, the greatest collection collector of the photo book. So he has a Great, with the biggest uh, library with the photo book uh, examples from all around the Europe. And he's buying and he said that uh, that's why it's important to have like, a, okay, I will make the photo book of the 20 uh, copies and each copy will be signed copy. It will, it will be really like an art object and I will sell them for the high price, but I will not print them, reprint it again. So that's why when we were in France in Arles, we saw, for example, a Japanese production of the photo book. And you can, uh, can tell more about it, how they were using the papers and actually how they were, um, what was the price of one photo book and why. Now, the interesting thing about the uh, Japanese uh, book was not only the the, the content of the book uh, of the photographs, but also the, the high level graphic design and the high level of used materials and hand binding. And no wonder that the books are were sold for 600 uh, euro or more a piece. Yeah, and, uh, and they know how to use it. So that, that is something that we need to also establish here. And I think it's not uh, impossible because we are living in the in the part of Europe where the stories in every street is just enough to go out and to make the storyline and to make the the story and to put it um, to put it in the book and to have a, a good corporate uh, graphic designer. And uh, based on this uh, public presentation, we uh, uh, we were cooperated with also the Museum of Design, and uh, there is a national prize of the of Slovak design uh, book design. And uh, so our students won some prizes and they are now of the permanent collection of the, of the museum. And that was really great success. Success. Yeah. So now we can hear someone, I don't know who is that. Please, can you mute okay. your computers until the end of presentation? Please, please, please. And then you will be participants. Uh, also, we are very proud that we were inviting really great uh, photographers uh, uh, from all around the Europe, like that we have now the online lecture. So uh, two years ago, we had uh, uh, physical lectures, it was still normal, normal world, world. 
So we invited Donald Weber or Martin Kolar, very famous Slovak photographers, or Rob Honstra from from uh, Netherlands, and they were presenting the their photo book approaches because they are really great uh, in uh, in photo book production, and they are also the teachers at the uh, Royal Academy of Arts in uh, in The Hague. So it was a great uh, great cooperation, and now we will uh, go through the uh, some some book examples. So uh, when we have a book, we have the images. So we have a story. We have some text, and uh, it is uh, very good when the author is working with the text and when he's uh, writing and putting his own personal story. Uh, sometimes students are asking us, uh, like, why uh, uh, why I need to do this? Because there were already story about, uh, for example, uh, Daniel. And Yura and me are uh, always telling them, yeah, it, it's true, but there is always a personal approach in that. And that's why your story is different than an, uh, from a different author. So the texts are very, uh, very good. And also, then we are working with the visual dramaturgy. And visual dramaturgy is this uh, structure of the book. And uh, that is something which is maybe abstract, maybe so concrete, maybe so poetically uh, interpreted because it is a visual dramatization of your story, but it's very connected with the graphic design. And that's why, uh, as Yura uh, told you now, he will continue. Uh, it is very essential to work and to have this really like another soul of your book with the graphic designer because it's everything is in the, Greece. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <clears throat> we explain to students that the photo book, it's like a music. It has its beginning and it has its end. And between those two points, you have to make it, uh, you, ma you have to make it in harmony, in rhythm. It cannot be very repetitive because after a few minutes, the, the listener, but in our case, the viewer, will close the book and will not finish it. So it's, we explain them, okay, try to make uh, something big than something uh, small, just keep the rhythm, keep, uh, keep the attention of the, of the viewer. And also the form is uh, important. If how the book is binded, at this example, uh, they are like a small or uh, the book notes, uh, which are uh, f uh, which are not binded together, but they are put in the uh, in the folder. They can uh, use the hard hard cover. They can use the soft cover. They can use uh, both. And or for example, in this case, that uh, uh, it's a soft cover, and the your teaching them about the material. And you're, uh, thanks to our uh, grants, we were uh, able to buy a lot of uh, high quality papers. And we explained them what's the difference between the coated and uncoated un un paper, how the photograph looks like on coated and uncoated. What do you want to, if they want to say something, what kind of, uh, what the color of the paper they should use? Either it's the nature color or the white or high white color. Then it's the question of the format. Do you want to work with small? How do you want your readers to read your book? Do you, do you, do you want them to read, them, read it in the bus or do you want to read them on the table or in the bed? That's everything, these, uh, affects the the size of the book and also the story is the story good um, does it does it want a big format or small is it uh, is it something um, expressive or is it more about the intimacy this is what uh, the graphic designer with the photograph must think uh, think about when creating the book and that's why we are uh, all the time asking the one and only uh, question is why. So why this paper? 
And it's not in, enough for us when our students are telling us, oh, because I like it more. No, it's not a good answer. So you need to, uh, to know why you want uncoated paper with a little bit of, uh, of uh, green, of the yellow, uh, this touch on the paper. So you need to have a reason. It's not enough that you just like, but you need to have a reason because paper is also the given, uh, is giving the, uh, the uh, another layer in your in your photo book, and that's why uh, all these uh, parts of the photo book are so important, and that's why they are different than the book that we are having the at the and the market at the libraries, uh, bookshops like uh, from the writers writers or some catalogs, because uh, we are telling the story also with the binding, with the cover, with the paper, with the font. Yeah, and what we can also notice it's the trends in using the paper. For example, when we started uh, like uh, four or five years ago, everybody was using this uh, nature color paper. And since we have the, the, the stacks of paper, we can see the nature color paper, uh, it's uh, spending much more uh, faster than the other colors of paper. And, but now, now they are uh, using more the uh, white paper or uh, high white paper. So we can see that trends are uh, changing also in color of the paper. And uh, this is very will, interesting. Yes. Yeah. Book. Just tell, uh, tell. Yeah. I will make the maybe uh, describe how we make this book because this book was is uh, one of the most um, uh, successful books that uh, we produced in our FOBO uh, course. And uh, it was, everything was started with this image that you can see. And uh, so students brought us the image and uh, there was a, a big demonstrations in, uh, in Slovakia, in Bratislava. And uh, so students uh, organized, uh, organized, I forgot uh, uh, against uh, what was the demonstration, Jura? Uh, it was uh, after the, uh... After, uh, after the murder, murder of the murder of uh, journalist. journalist. Yeah, we had a murder, murder of the journalist in Slovakia. He was very young and they, there was a murder of him and his uh, fiance in his house. And it was ordered murder by someone. We are still uh, uh, are waiting for the results of the, of the trial. But uh, so our students were organized and they were making, so here are all our students from the school and they were making the posters and they were um, painting, uh, all gallery was full of them. And then they were going to the main square and our student made this image and she brought it and, tell, and told us like, this is the something and I want to make the story. And then we started to, to, to talk about that. And, uh, and we could see uh, Delacroix uh, painter with the, uh, with, uh, uh, Liberté. The freedom leads. Uh... Freedom leads. The yeah, uh, and we were like, okay, so let's make the story about the the protest. And then she started to to this is the murder uh, journalist and uh, his fiance. And then she started to compare the protest from the eighty nine from the Velvet Revolu Revolution in Slovakia, and the organization of the protest from the students' point of view, and. She made, they made uh, together with her colleague from graphic design, wonderful work because the cover was the student manifest from the 89 and inside was from the uh, year when was the contemporary protest and everything was, uh, 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 was on the one side was 89 and then was the 2018. And uh, so, here is a correspondence. So here are the te uh, the telegrams, and here is the Facebook communications, and everything was so going well. And he, she went to archive uh, of the school of the academy. So here are the students in eighty nine, and then you have a contemporary students, and uh, and the transparent, wonderful, wonderful work what what she done, and also the demonstrations on the same place, on the same spot. Uh, she done this photo, but it was something was very uh, intrigued in this because she made the uh, int by her intuition from the same point of view the photography like the photographer in eighty nine. So um, 
you can see also this. And uh, also you can see here in 89 protests, they were protesting with the keys. And here you can see the mobile phones because in the night we were raising the mobile phone that we can see how many of us are in the on, are on the square. Also the candles. And uh, so this book uh, was uh, very uh, popular, popular and also uh, we gave it as to the uh, present to the, our president. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, and that is a very good uh, example how to combine the, the contemporary situation very something, uh, very, something very uh, good that is describing the contemporary uh, uh, society and situation in the country with the archive, uh, with the archive material. Uh, because we encourage also students to work, of course, with the, with the archive, uh, archive material and to uh, establish more concrete and more comprehensive uh, story. Yeah. So this is uh, the, the book about uh, foreigners in Slovakia and, and about uh, free it's an airport, train station and bus station and also the foreigner police. And it is a critic to the system uh, because uh, uh, they are not so polite to the foreigners at the foreigner police uh, office building because there are police uh, policemen they are not speaking english with the foreigners and and this is the 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 book about this isolation of the foreigner people who are coming immigrants also who are coming to uh, to slovakia and then at the end so here are the several stories of the of the foreigners and here is, uh, for example, it's also a nice example how they were working with a different binding, different uh, uh, colors of the paper. Because that is also how we can encourage that our story will be more concrete. So this is the this was first the document of the of the people, and then we are coming to the this of the center of the story. Here we have. Uh, the most important part why this is the critic because it's telling us how it's far away from the center this police station and it's completely in uh, unknown part of the Bratislava so far away and uh, so these uh, newcomers needs to find this and to go there and to apply for their uh, residence um, papers and uh, so here also everything in Slovak language and this is the situation where our students were making the images, uh, photos at the night when they are waiting in the in the list behind this. So it it looks like the the jail. So this is the building of the of the police uh, station. So we are also using this book in the in the aware, for the awareness of the problems that we are facing also here in uh, in Slovakia. So this is the. Uh, the police station and, and the foreigners are waiting there for a whole night to to come inside and, and to just to get the, the number. And actually, this is the now very successful student from Novi Sad from the Academy of Art, San, Sandra Ružić. So she's just finished a master's degree in our Academy and she won the director prize for her work. She's from the painting department. So it's very successful story from the beginning. <laughs> what is interesting Metro. about, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's interesting about uh, our students that they, all, they are also very in the topics connected to the society. So, and uh, critic of the politics, critic of the society. And they are not only uh, dealing with their uh, personal topics or intimacy, but they are really uh, going out and searching uh, for uh, the things that they don't like or they want to criticize or they want to point out. And this is the book about, uh, it's called The, the Friend of the Friend. And uh, everybody from us knows somebody who is a foreigner. So and they wanted to find these people. They wanted to talk to them. They want to make it uh, portraits with them. And uh, they created this portrait book of the friend of the friend. 
And uh, what is also maybe uh, inspiration for you who are watching, or if you are a student and you don't know how to deal with the text and you are working with the interview or making the talk with some people. So here is actually uh, without any, um, uh, any, uh, any editing, reading, any editing text. Because text is also the part of the image and explaining the personality of the image. So they wanted to put emphasize also how this person is using the Slovak language as a foreigner, how he's making the sentences, his thoughts, and how these uh, words words are uh, is a, are a mirror of the of the portrait. And it's really a nice book. And they are also uh, they are also making the the uh, intervention the in the book, uh, yeah. yeah, where they are putting the physically uh, glued images in the book. And this book is a part of the permanent collection of the Museum of Design in, uh, in Slovakia. And um, yeah, this is book about the gender stereotypes. They are also uh, asking, um, uh, they're making the books about uh, gender stereotypes, feministic uh, questions. Uh, questions regarding the body, uh, gender, and um, about the contemporary uh, generations and how they are dealing uh, dealing with that. So they are a very nice uh, book. They were telling the story just through the point of view of, of the portraits of the person. And also uh, the cover was interesting how the graphic designer was making. There was a cover in Slovak, but then they were putting uh, above and there was a cover in English uh, language. Also, the book about uh, Petržalka. Petržalka is a neighborhood in Slovakia. Uh, so, for example, the new Belgrade in, in Belgrade is something so uh, inspiring. So you can work on so many books about the new Belgrade or some neighboring neighboring uh, parts of in, in Belgrade. So this is a story about the stereotypes that uh, that are going uh, out from the Petržalka. Petržalka is the biggest neighbor uh, panel uh, city neighbor. Mess, uh, mess housing. Yeah, mess housing part in Bratislava, but it's very different than New Belgrade. It's not this uh, kind of the architecture that you can ha you can see in in New Belgrade. It's uh, so it's about the stereotypes. So there are small gardeners in front of the the buildings, and they were showing. Uh, that, yeah. and um, and also and this is also part of the most uh, uh, successful books it is the book about the dormitory in uh, in Bratislava they, where it is a story from 2018 or 17 but we can see the atmosphere 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 from 80s <laughs> or beginning of the 90s so nothing changed in the in the dormitories and uh, how they are leaving the students and it's really um, contemporary uh, and problematic situation of the students and yeah. we wanted to this book to use and to and to sell it on the Ministry of uh, of the education, education to show them yeah to show them how students are living in our dormitories as the critic so. And also, this is the famous bar. So, I think you can uh, take these examples that we are uh, giving you as a maybe inspirational point of of what you can use for your uh, research uh, and from what you can make the photo book. So, this is the bar Vanessa in Bratislava, where all our art academy students are hanging around, and they're all there. And uh, so, they are making the book about uh, uh, Vanessa bar so we will go through uh because we want also you to have questions on on us and maybe this is, end, this is also an yeah. uh, interesting topic when uh, we ask students to uh, read a book the poetry book and uh, make a reinterpretation of this book using the photography and typography yeah there was a so, great uh, great uh, par like a uh, uh, creation of the uh, poetry with the photography in 80s but then somehow it stopped to make this co collaboration between photographers and the poetries 
So that's why we uh, organized one semester and we were making the interpretation of the poetry and contemporary um, contemporary uh, writers' uh, stories uh, in a photography. So it was uh, also interesting how they were interpreted uh, this poetry into the into the books. Also this, for example, this was uh, uh, Peter Zibo is a very uh, young poetry artist. He's, he's writing the the poetry and then they were making uh, interpretation of how the, we were reading the poetry with the photography or also uh, this one is also example because here you can see the analog photography uh, combined with the transparency material and combined with the typography. Uh, yes, I, I want to say that the name of this book is uh, Schwabi, which means cockroaches. Cockroaches, yes. And uh, and maybe for the last point of our uh, presentation, uh, we would like to encourage you and to to research and to Google uh, regarding the open calls uh, for the photo books, because if you are producing the the photo books uh, and nobody will see it, then your photo books will not be alive. Uh, I know that in Belgrade uh, we have uh, you have a uh, Belgrade Rob. Uh, Rob uh like um, uh organization that they are making the photo books uh there are also some in uh, in bosnia or in in slovenia we know them mostly all but this belgrade row is an example because they're uh, they're they're having good instagram they are making the very concrete stories regarding the this uh, very reportage way of seeing the the contemporary day life in in belgrade so there are different open calls, uh, always combined with the big festivals, uh, photography festivals. So you have a Paris photo, for example, and every year Aperture Foundation from New York is, a, uh, is a making the open call for the book productions where you can apply your books. Also the, the biggest uh, photography festival in Arles, in, uh, in France, uh, every year they're also having the which is interesting, and I think maybe for you interesting, not just the book uh, that is uh, published and uh, have all all this uh, uh, what is important, but they are making the open call for the music uh, for the book uh, markets. Dummy books, dummy, dummy books. books, and that is uh, and we saw it with you, right? And that is something so interesting because he, you see these dummy books, like uh, sketches of of the books, and based on that. They are uh, choosing the winners and uh, two the second prizes, and then they're paying you the production of the book. So I think this is for for the beginning for the beginners uh, very important. And we didn't mention, but I would I would like also to add that uh, when you listing the book, you have uh, you have at the end this imprint of of the book and. This imprint where you put all data of, uh, of the book is very important. It's it's a kind of the the the, the structure. It's like with, a birth certificate of the book. Birth, yes, the birth certificate of the book. And more professional you are when you put everything inside. When you put on what kind of the paper you were using, what kind of fonts, all collaborate uh, particip participants at the book, and that is something. Uh, very important to have really professionally made this this imprint that birth cer certificate will be a hundred percent sure of originality. Uh, so maybe um, I will I will send to to Vesna email with the links. Uh, so uh, you can maybe in your group then spread uh, the links where you can apply uh, for you uh, for some several. Um, uh, several open calls, and also within the academies, uh, uh, we will we will maybe uh, think about after this pandemic of some uh, collaboration and workshops where we can more uh, exchange our uh, know-how. When you uh, think about photo books, do you think uh, always um, about, for example, printed books? or photo books could be done in another type and materials? From my 
point of view, I'm I'm a little bit conservative about the photo book. Uh, for me, it's the photo book. At least it has to have the beginning and the end that you can flip the pages and uh, you have the order how you uh, look at uh, the pages and, and and the book. Of course, the materials like like glass. Yeah, it, it's uh, it's okay. But then I would rather consider it as a as an as an uh, photo object uh, connected uh, with the book. And uh, yeah, that's. But I'm I'm not telling that that no no it's forbidden. Yeah, it's everything is open. You can you can do whatever you uh, want want. Maybe maybe it's just important to know this. Um, uh, how you will use it and how you will work with this uh, photography book because you can't make it so many so many examples of the book so in that way when we are using these artificial materials combined with a with a photo book when then it is more art object connected with the art presentation in the galleries but not with the wide uh, distribution yeah, when well, when we discuss with the students, I always ask ask them how do you how do you want to produce it? It's how many materials do you want to use it? How expensive it will be for the production? How many pieces do you want to product uh, produce? Like ten pieces or one hundred pieces or one thousand? So, and then you have to choose the material. You cannot make make the book uh, out of glass in in one thousand pieces. We can make two or three or five. One question regarding the topics of the books, because most of the topics uh, in these books you showed us tonight were some socially engaged uh, subjects and some documentary photogra photographs, as well as the activism, feminism, uh, gender roles, and all of these uh, hot issues at the moment that are surrounding us. So my question would be, uh, do you consider that some things that are a little bit uh, more personal and abstract and more, how to say, selfish to the society could be as successful as these uh, other documentary books. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, we have uh, very intimate stories also uh, within our production. It's not, uh, uh, it's just that uh, we don't have a, a good uh, photo documentation in this moment, but uh, we had a very abstract uh, 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 book about the ritual of the soul, uh, and it was also successful. So there is a uh, the, uh, there is a um, open for all topics for regarding the photo books. It is just important to know what you want to tell with your photo book and who is your audience. To when you answer those questions, then you know how to prepare even uh, your your photo book, even though it's maybe more abstract topic, then uh, it's uh, used to in your documentary photography. I don't know if you I will add something. Yeah, thank you. That was uh, yeah. the question. Okay, can I uh, have a question? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, <laughs> hello, uh, I'm interested uh, if you have to choose, uh, would you choose a good story uh, with a loosey book or a great book uh, with a great design and a loosey story? That is a good question. Like also this previous uh, question. So we have, I, I, yeah. like, like graphic designers, they have this, they have the saying, I can make it quickly, I can make it good, and I can make it cheap. But you can choose only two of them. So if it's if it's quickly and cheap, it's not good. If it's uh, good <laughs> and uh, quickly, uh, what? Uh, good and cheap, it's not quickly, and so and so on. But but maybe we can tell about this trash design. That's that's another uh, thing that uh, this anti design and uh, trash uh, punky design is very popular among our students. And uh, I think it's the, it's the period that everybody wants to try it, everybody wants to live it. And then uh, they find out that it's also difficult to make a good trashy design. It takes, I think 
trashy design sometimes takes a uh, longer time than uh, the like a regular conservative design but uh, i would i would choose good story and trashy good design and I agree with you, Ray. And we also have a book about you can buy it, and also I think on Amazon this uh, anti design or about bad design, how it looks to make the ugly book and to be a good book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's called Pretty Ugly. Pretty Ugly, yeah. Thank you for your uh, time. Yeah. So I just wanted to ask when we speak about uh, like this trash design and everything, because uh, let's say like uh, this. Uh, Photo book that we that you just represented, they are they are very like they have an artistic approach and it's a very non-commercial book. So if you're making it, you have to make a decision if you're going to make ten copies or only one. And uh, when you do, for example, uh, this this photo books that you mentioned, like uh, in Serbia or in Eastern Europe, they're selling like this uh, calendar uh, landscape uh, things. Uh, <laughs> Like, how, how would you approach to this kind of book where you have to make, I don't know, 1,000 copies of something and and, and you lose uh, elements of texture and different kinds of papers and combining different kinds of papers because it's producing for a bigger uh, scale and to stay only with few elements like photos and fonts and like, uh, the, like, ba like simple design and to still have this, like, uh, uh, good, uh, how to say... Um, Quality? Writing and yeah, 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 and like yeah, stamp like like per, like personal. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, I have to. I have to. Can I? I can start to answer this question. Uh, One thousand pieces in Slovakia. It's a lot of a lot of books, and you hardly never print uh, one thousand pieces. You can print two hundred, three hundred, or four hundred, and uh, they are never or I, don't, I, will, I cannot say never, but uh, hardly ever they are like a commercial success. It's, uh, you have to find the donation or the grant uh, to publish this book. It's not for making the money. If you want to make a book for, uh, to earn money, then you choose uh, these uh, calendars and uh, nice landscapes. And, and if you want to make a nice book without uh, making the calendars and landscapes, you have to choose the topic uh, which is understandable for the bigger audience than uh, is at home. So you have to open it for, for Europe or for USA. So the, because Slovakia is a very small country. They have, we have only 5 million uh, inhabitants. And only, I don't know, a couple thousands are interested in, uh, in this book or, or in photo book and only a few hundreds are willing to buy the book. So you have to really uh, like uh, open uh, your vision. Who do you want to sell this book? Or uh, just find the, find the donations and the grants how to finance this book because I think it will it'll, it will not uh, earn you money. But also, we can talk about the self publishing. Yeah. Because with the self publishing. Can I say sorry, sorry for cutting you? I, I, yeah. Like 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 my I, uh, question was not towards the like earning from the commercial books. It's it's more like. Uh, I don't know, when you make art film, your hands are much more open to experiment and to like use another elements and combine to make like one piece that is that has a structure. And when you make something commercial, you're doing, uh, you don't have so, so much freedom because exactly what you said, no one will give you money. It's for like big audience, blah, blah, blah. So I was just thinking, how do you approach to this? If you're doing as a graphic designers, this kind of books, where do you find your freedom among all of these uh, like normatives that you have to fulfill uh, yeah that's uh, uh, the okay i like the design which is not uh which is not visible so the less visible design you make uh it's better if the if the if it helps uh the book and I know that, that the pressure of uh, the big publishers is very strong to make it uh, 
very visual attractive for uh, selling. And this is very difficult to uh, stand for, uh, for your ideas. You have to be very strong in your arguments. You have to have an authority in, uh, in the published house. And uh, it's not, I, I would say it's not easy for beginners. Uh, I mean, not for beginners, uh, graphic designers, but for the beginners in publishing or for the beginners in, uh, in this publish house. And what uh, Olya said, it's the self-publishing. Maybe Olya, you can say more about this. And uh, to be your own uh, uh, self-publisher, that can be every of us. It's just uh, that uh, you need to find some maybe uh, grants for it to, to make it uh, uh, 10 or 20 examples of your book to print it and uh, to print it at Xerox. I mean, to make uh, photocopies of your book, but you need to make a clear concept of what is your book ne uh, wants to present. And then in the end, just to, to write, it's a self-publish and it's one from, uh, uh, from 10 uh, examples. I uh, gave you some uh, links, links in the chat group and there you can see the, the link self-publish be happy. So that is the guy who is uh, collecting and collector of the book and uh, of the photo books. And he's also this great uh, supporter of the self-publishing uh, 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 philosophy. And on that uh, website, you can see so many examples of the self-published uh, publications that can be uh, inspiring uh, for you. Hi. Mm -hmm. I'd like to ask uh, how long the process of uh, making the book lasts? From the beginning, from the photographs put on the wall uh, to the final production, to the printing? And uh, how much do of you as a professors interfere in the uh, design and the process of the student work and will you uh, leave them uh, to make even the bad book but just to give them the freedom and opportunity to do whatever they want to do yeah well uh, we have a, a, a master's degree uh, program we have a two semester uh, programs it is a creation of the photo book and in a bachelor degree program we have a one a semester uh, program so for one semester they need to make from the photography until to the presentation of the book with the printing material and a bachelor degree they are more working with the zines so like zine they are making they don't need to be the hard cover of the of the photo uh, book and in the master program then we are expecting from them how to prepare really concrete photo book. So they, they have a two semesters from photography idea until uh, from September until the end of May to prepare the book. And also they need to, for the exam to, which is very important to give us the PDF of the book and also the good uh, photo documentation of the book. So how they will make the photography in the studio. And maybe you I can reply on the question of uh, regarding how we are interfere. And also I would like to add about uh, the length of the process. During the workshops, they can create the, the zin during one week. Yes. That's, that's like a very speed, uh, speed work when they work five days uh, only on this topic. And how much do we interfere? We ask them, why do you want to do this? What's your idea about this? We don't, we don't say them, don't do it. We just ask them, why do you want to do it? Why do you do this? Are you sure? And, and, and that's up to them uh, how they will make their book. But uh, we are trying to interfere to them with the questions. And when, when they are so 100% uh, uh, sure that they want to have that kind of the design, so they are going with that book, even though we are suggesting them that maybe that is not a good idea, but they are so persuaded that that is a good idea, so they are going with that, and we are okay with that. Uh, we, they need to have, uh, all students need to have the freedom and open in, in creativity process. We are more... Yura and me in the pro this uh, creation process, someone that they can talk and we can share uh, our experience and guide them uh, not to be lost 
uh, in the dialogue between photography and graphic design. But their uh, uh, creativity is their own uh, creativity. Thank you so very much. And thank all of you participating, listening, asking, and uh, sharing this evening with us. Thank you very thank much you. for inviting us. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, it, was, it was great to be with you in Belgrade for a moment. And hope to see you soon with, uh, with this. And hope that you will come also with me at the presentation. Of course, right. Thank you so very much. And good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.